shops so in effect you can go down to the railway station go anywhere you can go down to the bus station more or less go anywhere and uh, of course you just walk out the store and you can go anywhere you want without having to pay a penny and just enjoy the uh, uh, fresh air I think it's a fabulous place to uh, live and the people have always been very very friendly uh, and a lot of them have uh, been here for well to me it seems that they've been here uh, uh, forever I suppose if one said there's a sad part it might be that you look back years and years and years ago and thought it was just all open fields around here right up to where I'm pointing now the end of my garden the stream ran down the end there and goes all the way on down uh, to uh, join the river at uh, Walbridge but now it's there it's culverted over it's 32 feet down I've oh, measured I'm thinking it. about that oh, yeah. brilliant and it's yeah. running all year long 32 feet down Tony you have mm. painted such a mm. lyrical picture of the yeah. area in which we live and, and um, made me feel very grateful for listening to mm. you and, and also making me realise just what a wonderful place we, mm. we, we, we live in and I wonder if we finish now. Just see yeah, as long as you're uh, happy with that. Um, really, all the uh, time on that chart there, you've got more or less everything on there that uh, I can imagine. Uh, Stroud Show. I'll tell you what you haven't got on there, though. Yeah. You know, it's Stroud Show. And I used to think it was uh, wonderful at the time. In the summer, um, this is around about 19... That would be the early 50s could be the late, very late 40s. They used to have, um, in England, in certain parts, there used to be um, motorcycle football, okay. and there was a motorcycle league. Oh, right. It seems from in, we're in Coventry and all that place. Yeah, okay. And Stroud had a motorcycle team, fo a motorcycle football team, oh, nice. who used to play on Fromore Park. Well, I'm blessed. Yeah, and I, I know who used to run it. His, his name was um, Tom Powell, and he used to have a... Um, a garage in Stroud, and then he took over a pub at the. Uh, he took over the Target pub at the top of Bisley um, oh, yeah. Road, uh, and that ran. Oh, I, I think it was two seasons, but that was quite exciting. Well, what what uh, would they do? Would they kick the ball or? Yeah, on their motorboats, they had goals at either end, <laughs> and um, uh, I, I can't honestly remember how many. Sort of fusion of speedway and, and football. I yeah, that's it. That, yes, that yeah. Kind of era, I suppose, yeah. would probably popular in the thirties, yeah. forties, fifties. I can yeah. imagine that. Yeah. Well, no, oh. yeah, yeah. Yes. Very exciting to yeah. to go up there, and of course the other side where you've got uh, focus uh, and yeah. that now, because that's where rubber football team used to uh, oh, right. to be, yeah. and uh, uh, that was happy memories because uh, occasionally um, you would have shows up there, but boxing, and uh, so uh, they uh, put a marquee up there, or, or could even be open air, and um, if you were lucky. I was lucky because my father was interested in uh, boxing. Right? You go along and you watch these uh, wonderful uh, semi-pro um, right. boxers. There was one named Hal Bagwell who seemed to go forever and ever and ever without being beaten. Right. Uh, it'd be interested to look up what his record yeah. actually was. So all of those sort of things went on and around. So uh, if you were interested, uh, lots to do. I was amazed that they played that motorcycle football there, though, because uh, they really tore the field up. Yeah, yeah. But in those days, rugby pitches were mud bars anyhow, oh, so it didn't matter yeah. too much in the um, winter. And uh, these shows, because they started the straight shows, and early in the uh, 50s, they had this one straight show where all the trades tradespeople in Stroud, and of course there used to be lots and lots of uh, big shops and that, all set up their trade stands and that. I can remember one chap saying, this is the greatest thing that has ever happened um, to Stroud, you know, and uh, yeah. I think Stroud has just ticked over, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and is still ticking, ticking over, over. Yeah. might yeah. be a little bit slowly at the moment, yeah. but no, great. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And just a postscript here from Tony about um, a go horse on Robber Con. Yeah, if you go if if, if you go up uh, Robbery Hill now, uh, keeping the fort on your right, uh, just as you go around the top right hand bend, so you're looking up, up the uh, Chalford uh, Valley. On your right, there's a car park now. 
if you look very carefully you'll notice that it's a round area with a sort of slightly raised banks of about oh, I don't know, two feet, something like that and that used to be one of the big uh, putting greens right. now if you're on one of your walks around the common you go either up to the fort uh, towards the fort turn right uh, before you get across to the road go on along uh, with the Hyde estate on your left hand side so you're looking now down over the Nelsworth Valley yeah. just as you come around and get a, a good view of um, the Bear Inn yeah. there is another great lovely flat area with oh. banks all around it and that's uh, one of the other greens which is still there yeah. and then if as you're looking at it you turn immediately round yeah. That's, you can see the tees where they're built up and you've got the, yeah, the walls yeah, yeah. going over so you had this uh, it's an absolutely wonderful shot you know I've often thought I'd take my golf, one of my golf balls up in a, a wedge and make sure nobody's about and just play from one of those tees because there's about three of them stepped up there would be ladies and white and championship sort of tees across there and because uh, I knew people then uh, who were uh, played uh, golf, uh, one of them was, had a sports shop in Stroud Elderkin, used to work for Bateman's actually years ago and then uh, when Mr Bateman died he decided to go out on his own and uh, he lived in Bath Road because of course my mother used to live in Bath Road you see so that's why I know the area so well and um, uh, he used to play golf on there years and years ago and he actually went round with one of the uh, presidents of the golf club uh, to say well this is where the sort of the nine holes uh, were uh, in fact I've got I feel I might have a book up there with a map. If you have got an aerial view of uh, Robert, one of those, you, you can see all the lines where they had trenches and that built, etc. Uh, but you would all see the outlines of these golf courses. But of course they built the Hyde Park um, yeah. uh, area and that on it. Okay. When but you say the trenches, what do you mean for the home guard? The yes, basic? well, and in the war there were trenches, but they were more over towards... Um, sort of the old course just a little bit above okay. uh, that's one of those aerial ones in fact before you disappear I'll nip up the stairs because I think on my shelf I've got a, a book which might have that, some of that in an aerial shot so I'll do that now